SmartFace is one of the oldest tools in machine tools. It allows you to quickly create faces even from single or two vert selections by predicting where the opposite vertex should be. There's a new topo mode now, which you can disable in the add-on preferences if you don't like it. By default, it's enabled, but only when the retopology overlay is used. So let's check this out and enable retopology mode from the shading pie. You can now position the new vertex instead of just accepting its suggested location. Move it wherever you want it and confirm with the left mouse button or spacebar. Once you finish, the next selection will be done for you, just like in previous versions, so you can immediately re-invoke the tool for the next face. The next selection is also previewed for you while still in topo mode. If topo mode invokes but you don't want to move the corner vertex, you can just cancel the other right mouse button or escape to accept the suggested location. In the add-on preferences, you can also make topo mode trigger based on whether face snapping is enabled or not. I have only vertex snapping enabled now, and so topo mode doesn't invoke. But as soon as I enable face snapping, topo mode comes up and lets me move the vertex. You can then, of course, use snapping by the control key or invert snapping behavior via shift tab, just like in the native translate tool, which is exactly what is running in the background while in topo mode. Also, if you have vertex snapping enabled and also auto merge, then you can snap to a vertex and Blender will merge for you.